Hey YouTube, it's Chalisa again, and I'm here with a um, another tutorial. I'm um, sorry, that was getting on my nerves. Um, excuse the um, the background. I just I decided to do another one since I'm up and I have nothing else to do. Um, I'm gonna call this one a Rainbow Heart Polka Dice Deeper. I guess I don't know, but um, the first thing I did was um paint the nail with two coats of white polish um and then I took acrylic paints um excuse me and I made hearts up I messed up on the pink one but you know it's still cute oh come on okay and then these are the acrylic paints that I used um Americana neon uh sizzling pink um Deco Art Bright Yellow, um, the Joanne Fabric Paint, and this is called Turquoise, but it's actually a blue color, I guess. Um, from Art Deco Pure Pumpkin, and also from Deco Art, I mean Deco Art Grasshopper Green. Ooh, sorry. And what I'm gonna do now is just take um, a couple of um, well, let's make a couple dots with the colors. Um, take any dotting tool; it doesn't matter what size. And I'm just gonna add a couple dots here and there. Okay. Clean your dotting tool. And close that back up. Um, get another color. And I'm gonna put the paints on the um, on a palette anymore because I found out the hard way that I was wasting paint doing it like that. So I stopped doing that. So they go to um, pink. It's very bright, bright, bright neon pink, and I love it. Okay. Um, let's do some blue. Once again, this is very random. Um, dots, it doesn't matter. And it doesn't matter what size dotting tool you use. Um, for the green ones, I use the bigger side. And for the other ones, I just use the smaller side. Um, I'm going to do some yellow. Okay, and then the next, last but not least, we're going to use the um, orange, the pure pumpkin. I'm just add a couple dots here. Ooh, oh man, I'm so sorry, you guys. Should have just picked it up when I was thinking about it. I'll just go over the dots again. I mean it's fine, I'll just fix it. Um get some white paint and fix it up, but that's what it looks like so far. Should have picked it up instead of leaving my thing, but I want to use both hands. Um let me get my white paint out, hold on. Okay. I got my white paint. I'm gonna fix up these mistakes. Um, okay. And you know, once you um put the uh, top coat on, it will uh, blend in very nicely. So that's that. Um, and what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do with the hearts is put um 
zebra prints out of them. So let's get the black striper on. And my striper is kind of bent because I have another nail polish and I didn't know. And um, to make the zebra prints, stripes, you know, it's just random um, lines. And, you know, since it's a small, you have to be light on a brush. Because you don't want it to be too heavy. A little bit more black out. Hold on. You can also use acrylic paints for this. Um, I just don't have a um, striping brush anymore. Um, I don't know if you got a hold of it and ripped it apart. So, yeah. I'm so mad about my brush. As it happens when you're in a rush trying to um, put the stuff up. Okay, so that's the first one. Let's finish the rest of them. Um. And this design is inspired by um, Robin Moses. Um, I was, remember watching a YouTube video of hers a while back, and um, she had, she I think it was like hearts pajamas or something like that. And I was thinking about it today, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna put my own little twist on it. And so this is what I came up with in my mind, and I just. Decide to make a tutorial so you guys can see and let me know what you guys think. Um, oops, got a little bit on the dots, but it's okay. Okay, so we got two more to do, and I also think um, cheetah leopard print will look cute in these hearts too. And this is like a fun summer, maybe even spring now. Um, might be too busy for some people. Um, can always do is an accent nail, I guess. But I like busy. I like crazy designs and something different that I haven't really seen anybody with. So. Okay. One more. Okay. Okay, it's the last little piece right there. Well, here we go. I'm trying to get to focus. I'm sorry, you guys. There you go. I think it's cute. Um, <laughs> you know, once it dries, you put the top coat on because you don't want to um smear your design, and you always cap the free edge so you um uh polish and the design won't chip and stuff um but let me see if I can just get it to focus um, let's see so there it goes um let me know what you guys think leave a comment subscribe rate whatever um yeah hope everybody's having a good night good day whenever they watch this video and let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much. Bye.